Good morning, Blue Devils. It's Thursday, November 17th, 2022. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Jewel. There is a career fair for all 6th through 12th students tomorrow, so we are sharing the Blue Devil news one day early this week. We have a wide variety of occupations visiting tomorrow for career day. Students will travel session to session with their MTSS groups where they will have the opportunity to learn, listen, and ask questions to these professionals. Thanks to all who have agreed to spend their day sharing with us. We appreciate your time. If you have spent any time outside this week, you know winter has hit us really hard. Let's take a live look outside at today's weather with Luca and check out the weekend forecast for Thanksgiving break. I'm Luca Scott and here's your weather today. It is cold. It's currently 35 degrees here at Sedan High School. Tomorrow for career day, we're looking for a chilly 32 degrees. And Saturday, it'll be 48 with plenty of sunshine. And rolling into Saturday, the temperature will increase to 51 degrees. Have a great Thanksgiving break. Back to you. Thanks, Luca. Hey, Jewel, what do you call a gossiping turkey at the table? What? A side dish. Ah, good one, Jasmine. Speaking of gossip, I heard that there are a bunch of tips that you can use to stay healthy over the winter. I heard that too. Mel and Lyndon met up with the school's nurses, Mrs. Blakemore and Mrs. Thomas, to get the full scoop. What are some tips to stay healthy in the winter? To stay healthy in the winter, you can drink lots of water, eat a healthy diet, wash your hands. If you cough, make sure you're coughing in your sleeve. You can always make sure you get your flu shot. A flu shot will prevent you from getting the flu, and if you get it, your symptoms will be a lot lower, and you may not feel as sick. Um, always make sure you're washing your hands before you eat and after you use the bathroom because there can be anywhere from 2 to 10 million germs on your hands. So washing your hands is important. Yes, and if you are sick, if you're running a fever, stay home. Stay home. Yeah. High school basketball began their season this week with practices starting on Monday. There are four new coaches for the Blue Devils, head coach Hill and assistant coach Marks. We will be, will be the boys' and head coach Thornton and assistant coach Hilton will be leading the Lady Blue Devils. Players and coaches are looking forward to a successful season. I'm here today with Coach Thornton. So Coach Thornton, this is your first year coaching basketball at Sedan. What are your thoughts on the coming season? I'm excited. Um, I know a lot of um, faculty and administrators and community have been giving me a lot of support and, and understanding who the players are. And I've got a great coaching staff, Coach Hilton. Um, I look forward to this opportunity. Um, I'm looking forward to getting in the swing of things and playing some games. I think that we're really excited to get started, so hopefully everyone comes out and supports and makes our student section bigger. Good luck on your season, Blue Devils. It's time for quick questions this week. Danielle is chatting with Mrs. Miller, elementary counselor. What is your name and your job you do? Um, my name is Kristen Miller, and I am the elementary school counselor. What high school did you go to? I went to Sedan High School. Were there any activities you were involved in? Um, I was a cheerleader, and I did volleyball a few years, and um, I was in National Honor Society. That's it. Where did you go to college? Um, I went to Pittsburgh State and graduated from there, and then I went to New England. What is one thing you would do different if you were able to go back to your high school year? Um, I don't think I would do a lot different. Maybe just take the time to enjoy it a little more since it goes by quickly. What's your favorite dish at Thanksgiving? Um, mashed potatoes. National Honor Society welcomed their new members this week. To be invited to join NHS, students must have a 3.33 GPA in core classes that are required for graduation. This group of initiates have maintained a 3.5 or higher. Installation took place on Wednesday in the auditorium. All students 6 through 12 were invited to attend. So yesterday we dressed up in like Thanksgiving themed outfits and then we read Thanksgiving jokes and we read the Thanksgiving story at lunchtime and today we had to dress all formal and we have to get inducted into the National Honor Society later on today. How did you get into the NHS? Uh, I filled out the application and I got accepted. And what are you dressed up as today? Um, I'm dressed up as a turkey. 
What other things have you had to do for initiation? Um, this week we got a patch for our letterman jacket and we just had to have three alumni, uh, alumni of sedans that were in NHS sign it. And what does the NHS mean to you? It means hard work, dedication, and respect. Are you excited for your initiations? Am I excited for the initiation? Yeah, I am. Man, I just can't wait. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what the inside of a junior high or high school student's locker looks like? We did. So Madison Holt set out to find out exactly what's hiding behind those locker doors. We're going to do a locker tour with Pepper. Okay, can you give us a tour of your locker? Yes. Can you show us around your locker? So this is my backpack. This is where I keep most of my stuff. Just shove it in there. Mm -hmm. And that's where I keep all my homework. Why is your locker so dirty? Because I don't organize it and I don't really care. Okay, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Hello, I'm Mads Hole and I'm here with... Ariana Pennington. And we're gonna ask her to give us a locker tour. Okay, um, my locker's number is 215. Um, has that because I play volleyball. Um, that's my class sticker thing. It looks really bad. Um, then I just got some shorts that I forgot. Nice. Oh, there's and then my water bottle that I don't like. Why is there not that much stuff in your locker? Um, I don't know. I just forgot I had a locker. Mm. And then I just didn't put stuff in it. Okay, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Esports wrapped up their fall season this week. Freshman Landon Wood is in his second season of esports at Sedan. We sat down with him to see how this year has gone so far. I am Landon Wood and I'm in the ninth grade. In esports, we go online on video games and we compete with other schools around the USA. Um, I play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with two other people and we have only one, one competition. There's Minecraft, Apex Legends, Call of Duty, um, Bra Brawlhalla, Rocket League, Fortnite, lots of games. Mr. Thompson is our sponsor and he monitors because for some games he doesn't know what they are, so we have to help him with that. Anything else you'd like to add? Just come and have fun. We have a great time and if we make it into the playoffs, we have a big party. If you are willing to join, you can either talk to Mr. Thompson or talk to somebody who's been in Eastworth like me. Junior high basketball players have been busy preparing for their first game of the season. The Junior Blue Devils take on Argonia at home today. JV players start at 4. Thanksgiving is in full swing at Sudan this week. Crystal checked in at lunchtime to see how everyone enjoyed their Thanksgiving feast. Hello, what's your name? Mr. Holt. Can I ask you a few questions about the Thanksgiving dinner? Sure. Okay. Um, what is your favorite part of your meal today? Well, I love the turkey, the mashed potatoes. I love the dressing. It's really good. And the gravy. But you can't forget the favorite part. <laughs> I love that pumpkin pie, too. Um, who are you sitting next to during dinner? My good buddies, Mr. <laughs> Wells and Mr. Stetler, are joining me today. Amazing. Well, thank you for letting me ask a few questions about this dinner. You betcha. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. What is your name? Levi Dowell. Can I ask you a few questions about Thanksgiving dinner? Yeah. Okay. Um, what is your favorite part of your meal today? The bread, and it's not even close. Why? It's amazing. Okay. Uh, who are you sitting next to during dinner? Um, right now, all I got left is Tayden and Jacob, but... Justice, Wall, and uh, Gerald were sitting here too, but they left. Are they your best friends? Yes. Great. Thank you. What's your name? Diego. Um, what is your favorite part of your meal today? The food. What part? The mashed potatoes. Great. Uh, who were you sitting next to during uh, dinner? My family. And who's that? My, all my cousins and everything. Great. <laughs> Have a nice day. And now to wrap up this week's news, Thanksgiving fun with Jasmine. Hey. Hey. What's your name? JC. Okay, JC. What are you most thankful for? Um, my family, sports, and 
Jasmine. <laughs> Good job. Hi. What's your name? Brian. Brian, what are you most thankful for on Thanksgiving? Food. Good job. Hello. Howdy. What's your name? Haley Shipley. Well, Haley Shipley, tell me, how long was the Thanksgiving feast? Three days. Good job. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Miss Doty. Oh, what's your name? Uh, Miss Hilton. Okay, guys. What is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Um, sweet potato casserole. Mine is cheese grits that I make and take to every family gathering. Good job. <laughs> what's your name? Jeremiah Prince. Okay, Jeremiah. Which came first, the orange or the color orange? Yeah, that's a hard one. If you think about it, it's like technically, they couldn't name the orange orange without the color being orange first. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Pacey. Well, Pacey, how many women were at the first Thanksgiving celebration? Um, probably none. Good job. What's your name? Mrs. Williams. Okay, Mrs. Williams. What's something you're thankful for? I'm thankful for my family. I think we're all thankful for our, thankful for our families. But I'm thankful for my family. That's wonderful. Paula. What's your name? Bryce. Okay, Bryce. How long was the first Thanksgiving feast? Probably like 10 minutes. Good job. Do you like ham or turkey better? I like ham. You like ham? Good job. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Brindley. Okay, Brindley. What is something that you're thankful for? I'm thankful for my family and friends. Good job. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's your name? Hoyt. Okay, Hoyt. Would you prefer brownies or pie? Brownies. Why? Because they're good. Good job. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Cutter. Okay, Cutter. What is something that you're thankful for? Uh, feeding my cat. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Oh, Ga Gabriella. Okay, Gabriella. What is something that you are thankful for? My family. Your family? Yeah. Good job. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Adeline. Okay, Adeline. What is something that you're thankful for? My friends. Anything else? My family. Good job. That's your news for this week. Tune in again next week for more from Blue Devil News. Once again, I'm Jewel. And I'm Jasmine. Have, Have a great, great day. day. <laughs>